In this tutorial, we're looking at URL helpers in CodeIgniter. URL helpers are, well, it's a file that contains functions that assist in working with URLs. Let's take a look at the code. And we'll start off with the controller again. And I'll go to my URL helper function. And this one, I'm loading in the HTML helper and the URL helper. Actually, what I'm going to do is, because I have found that um, I'm using this HTML helper in different places. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete it from all of the functions in this document and delete it there and there and here and it's not there and I'm going to save this and then I'm going to go to uh, my config folder and then auto load and I'm going to scroll down to um, the helper array and here I'm going to pass in the HTML helper. So that's going to be auto load for me. I don't need to load it in my controllers anymore. Um, we're creating our data array here, passing that in. Let's go over to the URL helper. The first function we're going to look at here is this site URL. So let's take a look at what that does. If we go over to CodeIgniter's um, documentation, it says, returns your site URL as specified in your config file. The index.php file, or whatever you have set as your index page in your config file, will be added to the URL, as well as any URI, URI segments you pass to the function. So let's first go over to our config file. and I'm on localhost right now and you'll see that I don't have anything set for base URL okay and I also have nothing for the index page here if I jump back to the browser you can see right now for site URL, for site URL function I'm getting this okay now if we go over here to um, the config under index page if I if I pass in index.php here, how it is, um, this is how it is by default in CodeIgniter. I go back here and then I refresh, you can see that it's added index.php into all of these URLs. But because we've already done our mod rewrite and um, our HT access file is configured correctly, we can remove this. And the pages are still going to load fine, so let's take that out there and save. and. Um, you notice here in the base URL there's nothing set, but it said it was getting it from here and there's no um, site URL sort of array element here. So um, actually where this comes from is this config.php file, which is one of the core system files. So um, you don't need to look at this, but if you're curious to look at it to see how it gets um, that site URL you can go under system and then core and then open up config.php and we'll see here that um, if in the config file the base URL is set to an empty string which we have here first it basically does a check to see if you're using a regular domain name like whatever.com and then it um, constructs that URI and if not, it knows you're on a local host and it says the base URL to localhost and the site URL is created based off of this base URL right here. And I think you can find some code for that um, further down in here. So if you want to check that out, just go to config.php and let's go back to our um, URL helper. So here I'm just echoing out the site URL and we're getting, let's refresh here, and we're getting this, okay? Which is our, um, our root web folder. And let's go back to the code. The next thing I'm doing is the site URL and I'm passing in one parameter. And the parameter is, um, these are the segments. Okay, so maybe this is controller and then a function and then the first parameter of the function this is a page on the site and and we're going to get this kind of output right here 
In the next one, I create, a, I create this variable segments, which is an array. It has these three elements in it. And I'm echoing site URL, and I'm passing an array. So we can also pass an array here. And it's going to do the same thing as what happened here. And it's going to give us a path like this. The next thing I'm doing is echoing the base URL. And we can see that we got this for the base URL, the same as the site URL. I didn't set anything um, in my, now there's two config.phps. I'm just going to close the system one now. And this, this config.php is, of course, the one um, in here in the application folder. I have nothing set for the base URL, but um, we saw how this was made earlier um, by you know them just um, knowing that we're not on a domain like whatever.com, so it's using localhost. That's how we're getting that. And uh, same sort of thing here, base URL, we can pass it a parameter which is the rest of the path. We can even put um, a file in there and we're getting this. The next function is really useful. It's the current URL and um, you can see it right here. So all you do is just put current URL and then parentheses and it is going to echo whatever is the current URL. Um, I've used this before for um, uh, you know, you can you can save this to a variable, and you can send it to another page, and uh, you know, find out the refer and stuff like that. So there's, you might find some different ways to use this um, in your code. And the last one is um, we're creating a segments to array, and we're making that array as home HTML helper, and then um, oh sorry, we're right here right now the URI string so. URI string function just like that and what that is going to give us is uh, let's, let's take a look here uh, just right here so whatever came after um, the base path which is right there okay and lastly um, just like I said segments to is set to an array and we're passing that into this anchor function um, this array is the first uh, parameter, and the second thing is um, the um, anchor text of the link, and the last one is an attribute that I'm giving uh, this anchor. And let's take a look at that. And that gave me this right here, this link. And the attributes are, if we looked at the source, you would see the attributes there. That's all I have for URL helpers, and see you in the next one.